for those of you who don't know, we have short notice. We got Grant Phillips on drums. Mary Alphony on bass. Our fearless leader, Tommy Suara, the guitar and vocals. I hope it doesn't rain today Cause if it doesn't mind that same seven months. We played the Teen Center Battle of the Bands like two weeks after we formed the band. Which we got second in. By yeah, the that, that was, that was pretty good. I was already um, in a band called Drexel with Tommy. Which sucked. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's true. We, Thank you. we were pretty awful. But then um, we wanted to do the Battle of the Bands, and that band was out of town. So we said, I still want to do it. I don't care about them. Let's just find another bass player and drummer. And then I played with Grant a few times before, just hanging out having good times, singing Daniel Johnston covers. And then I knew Ariel played bass, and then called them up, and we met here in, in the garage. In this very garage, yeah. so many months ago. Come together. Fall Festival 
in 2012, and we couldn't make it with our band for the night that they asked us to play. I don't even know, cause I'm... So we um, we asked Amanda Zavala to sing with us while Zach and I played acoustic guitars, mm -hmm. and we kind of threw it together last minute a little bit, and uh, she came up with the idea of calling a short notice. And then we just ran with it. Um... And then it really worked for us. Yeah, since, it was uh, Our first show was put together a week. I mean, we put the entire band together a week before our first show. It was show. like a day before. Yeah, yeah it was pretty close. Yeah. Doesn't work, Grant. Doesn't doesn't work. It's, it's not hooked up to anyone. What a tease, man. What a tease. I was wondering why nobody. You want the other one, I guess. So. There's, there's nothing in there either. Unless you want some muscle milk. I want muscle milk. But Tony, this mic's hard lemonade. Yeah. I want lemonade. Yeah. I I don't really know. Who do we sound like? I can never really when people ask. Well, I mean, oh, what some... sort of music do you play? I'm like. Um, we're uh, rock we definitely band. we definitely have some Red Hot Chili Peppers influence. I guess weather more so. Okay. Find what I'm after. It's changing everything. Leaving my whole plan. Staying alone. Hand. Life begins today. Well, I usually come up with the the guitar part as like the foundation, and then. Everybody makes their own parts yeah, on just top of that. Yeah. Jams in kind on it. Kind of just it. build onto it. We'll play yeah, it over man. and over and over again, mm. see what works. But it usually... I'll sit at the little laptop do, 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 yeah, after we got that. Writing lyrics. Then. But it usually starts with a guitar part. What about the... Speed up the tempo. Okay. Well, there's no guarantee. <laughs> I think it's more like we each have our own personal influences musically, and then we bring those together to make the short notice sound. Yeah. Like, cause, yeah. cause we each have slightly different tastes in music, mm -hmm. and, oh, <laughs> and that's what like gives it, you know, some different layers. sounds and you get explosions in the sky. So. Yeah, and you say you always turn them off when they come on Pandora. Not so. true. No, you skip every time. Yeah, you do. <laughs> so we need both. We kind of need each other. Yeah, I don't think any of our music is actually like strong enough to carry itself without lyrics right now. Mm -hmm. Except maybe like flying cats or something. <laughs> we don't talk about flying yeah, cats. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> That's a no-no no word, all right. <laughs> new, 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 the new, best new, song new, in the world. new, 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 the entire time. <laughs> Just much, much worse. <laughs> and louder. <laughs> Okay, yeah, then they're second, and then we go right after that. Alright, oh, sweet, cool. cool. So I get to watch your set. I'll yeah. Take. What are you Very guys? Cool. Um, it's just me. Like, oh, we're yeah. basically recording in June. Um, so we just wanted to do, like, a few, like, shows to kind of, like, tweak it out, like, all the different things and stuff. So it's, like, not our name or anything, but, yeah. 
Oh, okay. we love this place. It's just fun. This is our first time here. Yeah. Dude, it's great. I love it here. You see that? Except for if I have a few no-no words or something because that mom doesn't want to sing. Like, he wouldn't sing Early Bird Catches the Worm. He wouldn't say Naked. It, shoelaces. 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 I, I have to try really hard if I want to get loving. I, I got it in He doesn't lines. like water park either. That's true. <laughs> I don't know why. He needs the perfect poetic diction for yeah. every song. That I, I just added the words a little, little fancy hands or... over here. I just work because I'm the one that has to sing them, so I make yeah, some... Yeah, if you don't feel comfortable... I make some changes on them sometimes, and... Fair enough. Like, I think it's fair to say that I write most of the music. Like, he, he turned Grant's song Satan into, um, Playpen. And now it's a little more suitable for children, but... Yeah. I this feeling down funny in my throat I this with It's way through an old Just Zach Whatever and I, it was just the two yeah. of us, we were scheduled to play Northridge. Nobody else could make it. Mm. This was before them. So, so yeah. we were going to play the farmer's market. It's outside. And then he said he looked on his little fancy iPhone or whatever, and it said that it was supposed to rain the next day. And then I just say, I hope it doesn't rain today, because if it does, then I might have to say the weatherman was right. And I'm like, Tommy... That's the greatest song lyric I've ever come up with, and I didn't even try. And then just all pulled out, uh, poured right out of me. If weathermen tell the truth, the next thing you know, politicians will too, and what will happen to our lives? Some pretty heavy zings right there. And Elvis is pretty much a straightforward story. Elvis. <laughs> Where'd he go? He left the building, and then what? That's another crazy dog lady oh, thing. She yeah, told us the song wasn't finished. What ha what happens after he leaves the building? He dies. Do you not know who He's Elvis dead. is? He's dead. He died. Okay. Um, anyway, wasting time. I. What does wasting time mean? I don't even know. I was just I like know. they're playing the song. I was doing. I was just thinking up words, and then then for some reason Tommy thinks that's like the deepest and greatest song ever written and it's like well that's okay with me like it just because i don't know what they mean doesn't mean other people can't find good meaning in them and space birds well space birds is space birds it was off your poem right yeah i i did at one point have a little bit of a poem that had little chunks of the lines and then i was like hey song and then I songified it up. Grant, what do you what do you want me to do? Can I put it in my lap though? Does that work? Should I try it? I 
decided I'm gonna, when we play our next show, I'm gonna get those light gloves that people like rave with, like the, uh, and I'm gonna wear those when I drum, and we're gonna turn all the lights off, and it'll look so fing great. Dearest. Greg, you need to help me. Mom, I told you I could sit on it. Hold on, Mom. Hey, it's time to get on the car. Who the f is into the car? I tried to- Which one of you sick f is trying to steal my stuff? Why did that happen? That doesn't even He tried to open the door when it was locked? Yeah, well no, I just- I unlocked it. Lots of <laughs> Okay, it'd be like if my windows were down and the car was locked. Right. Okay, my alarm is gonna go off. Mommy, I just- Look, it doesn't so, fit. It's so easy. Yeah. It's way bigger than I thought it was. Look, if Zach can hold it, then we're fine, but... Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. I can't really. <laughs> it's really comfy. Yeah. It's a long drive, Zach. Nice, I can cuddle it. It'll feel something. Okay. <laughs> Check, check. Can you hear me? He, he's at the same level as me. Check, check, check. Oh, he's mumbling. Uh, Our target audience, though, well, because we play a lot of farmers markets, which are four hours straight, and it's not a sitting audience. I mean, every, it's just, you're like in the middle of a walkway. So there's people walking by. There, you just want to get... And the whole point is for us to make money and grab people's attention. So the people that have money are older. So our set list at Farmer's Markets is more covers of like 70s rock bands mm -hmm. that everybody knows, like Leonard Skinner and Pink Floyd and The Who. Like, I mean, I like, I personally like most of the songs too. I know everybody doesn't, <laughs> but... Well, but the reason like we play it. those songs is because it draws people in and they give us money then. You might take this badge off of me. Oh 
Grand kind of expands our um, audience a little bit just because he's like, I don't know, sexy beast or yeah, something. Girls actually and listen to us now. Yeah. It's a difference. I'm sorry, Katie. <laughs> One time I actually, um, I don't know if Katie knows about this or not, but <laughs> one time I auctioned off his phone number at, cause, um, when we play at farmer's markets, we just play for tips and everything. Like we don't get money. So Zach and has a brilliant idea to prostitute myself yeah, in front of everyone by volunteering my phone number for just a $5 donation. 10,000 texts later, we got another $5 in our fund. <laughs> but it was fun. Worth it's it. good. Next time we <laughs> Not can worth it. Next time we can raise the price. Must There's I a guess. couple chances people have asked us to play covers, and once oh, yeah. we started playing them, they walked that's, that's away true. from us. But, you know, we, yeah, we, we get tried. requests, and uh, well, we're, we're not good at out. saying no. Yeah. So if Sometimes we get a request, we do it. even if we don't know it, like even slightly, we'll, we'll still play it. Mm -hmm. And then the person that requests that song often leaves. Yeah. Right after, and it's no longer their favorite song, and they never request it again. Yeah, so, yeah. You can thank solve us for that, that problem. Sometimes it works though. Yeah, sometimes we made like ten dollars off Stairway to Heaven that one. Really? Oh uh, yeah, that was good. Yeah, and made a new fan. Mm -hmm. I mean, why not? Let's try it. Everybody, everybody you can't turn down a request, huh? When you get that, you know. Man, oh. Man, I'm not sure I can do it. I say we try it. Why not? Because everybody knows the song, so when we put you in, you can't get mad at me, man. I'm not prepared for one song. 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 I'm not prepared for one Sometimes Zach will pull up lyrics on his phone, and I kind of feed him. I guess at the chords, and then Zach will kind of mumble the lyrics like into my ear, and then I'll sing them into the microphone Soup's on stage. Off. It's hard not to laugh when Zach mumbles to you. Or sings. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I think Zach has a beautiful voice. Yeah, I do. I think it's more fun when they don't know our songs, because then it's like a whole new thing and they don't know what they're expecting, and then all of a sudden they hear us and they go, oh my god. Either in a good way or yeah, a bad way, you take it however you want. But it'll be one of either. It's like if they know what they're expecting, then we feel like we're letting them down. She knows that something's wrong. Thank you. 
course, I, I'm never yeah. gonna stop playing. Yeah, exactly. Well, except for when I get polio and my hands fall. I mean, That's I'm hoping that, story. like, when we come back next summer, we'll still... Like, yeah, over that, vacations, nice. I mean, I'm hoping we still get together and jam and stuff like that. But, I mean, we're... The two of us are going pretty far away for college, so, I mean, I'm sure we'll be interacting with other musicians while we're there. Stage lights go dim He's ready to deploy The last row and him scream for him But he's got a broken heart Any mishaps between the band? Oh! No! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Where do we oh, start? Yeah. No, Holy no. sh**! We all hate each other. We all want each other to die. Right, Everybody bro. gets mad at everything we do. Right, bro, Everybody's bro. hostile and aggressive. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. No. No. What? <laughs> he plays it no. once. You do it. You do a crash, I guess. Yeah. And then you do a fill. Did you like play the first time? Second time, second time you do the hit, like you, yeah, yeah. You know, everybody comes in the third time, play a third time through, and then yeah. There's been a buildup of tension for the past few, uh, I don't know. Years. Yeah. <laughs> pre pretty yeah. Much. It's like everybody gets mad at our song choices and nobody wants to play the same stuff and we all get hostile towards each other and we get aggressive and it's disappointing when you play at CME because nobody comes and you're sitting there for yeah. four hours playing for yourselves. You don't get paid anything unless there's tips and if people aren't tipping you then it's like it's just a really, really long four hour practice. So everybody gets hostile. We went to the beach that day so everybody was tired already well, to begin two, with. Two of you went Some to the Some people beach. were sunburnt. Everybody was hostile. My car broke down that day. Somebody decided to be a vegetarian that day and got, uh... What? <laughs> oh. Cat is out of the bag! Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Grant made a bet with Tommy. Yeah. I'm vegetarian. Anyway, so... What? Somebody, At least for the next Somebody time. decided not to eat meat, uh... We hadn't eaten anything all day. Everybody was hostile. Wait, there was so much tension there? building up. Yeah, well, yeah. To where we got to the know. point where the show went great at first. Yeah, I, I was like, I was, was feel, like I was feeling better about our problems. Yeah. I'm like, we oh feel so God. good. This one is conversation hey, at hey. a time. No, guys. we're Hold actually saying positive things. We're here. 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 dropping bombs over there, buddy. <laughs> oh. Dropping bombs. Yeah. Well, now, now we're all vegetarian except for Zach. How do now you feel, the Zach? Is um, out of the bag. Okay, oh, I, I'm the only sane one here, so. Um, no, 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 he almost threatened to jump off a building. Yeah, that's, exactly. that's true. I was, so I was so insane. pissed. He acts like I mean, okay, hold on, let's continue snapping. the story from the beginning. Because I'm not as good, yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah, as good at swearing as Grant is, so I can't teller. just be like. <laughs> I don't know how to do that, so I just run away and don't even know what I'm doing. So continuing on, we're all tired. Everybody's exhausted. There's tension building up. Zach's parents are mad at him for some reason. He's getting in a fight with everybody. Tommy's butthurt about everything because we're all butthurt, so he gets butthurt mm. when we're butthurt. That was so many butthurts in one sentence. I can't yeah. even describe it. But. So we're all pretty much hostile at this point, and the show's going great to start off with. We have not screwed up once. We are going yeah, flawlessly we through these covers. Everybody is loving us for some weird reason because this never happens. So me and Zach are like, yeah, this is like the best show we've ever played. Like, If somebody were to ask us in the middle of the show, we would have been like, this is the, our favorite show. Mm -hmm. Like, This is going really well. Then we decided to take a break. And that was when uh, two of us the... wanted to take a break, and two of well. us didn't want to take a break. So that was where the sides divided. So Tommy and Ariel got off stage because fairly they needed a break. Yeah, we it's, were it's all understandable. Exhausted. We were dying over there. We've been playing for like what two hours, two and a half. Well, I didn't hours. need to take a break, but I knew that you guys wanted to do your little covers that you learned. They they they, they learned their own songs. So we, that they me play. and Zach decided to stay up there and yeah. test out our little we routine. Played we some Lana Del, Del Rey, Walk, Walk the Moon, Ray. Daniel Johnson. Yeah, Daniel Johnson. And it, it was pretty fun. And a son. It went decent. It was going all right. Can't say perfect, but it was good. Yeah. So then uh we got back on stage and uh what did we play as soon as we got back on stage? Was this the probably like? Did we, we play "She's So Heavy" right when we got? We back? probably did. Yeah. We played "She's So Heavy." Some of us wanted to play "She's So Heavy" and some of us didn't. Yeah. At all. 
Because we did not know the song and we weren't prepared, but then again, there was nobody there, so we could have just faked it. We would have been fine anyway. Mm -hmm. Which is what what we ended up doing. We started playing this song, and it didn't go horribly, but it didn't go perfectly either at the same time, Mm -hmm. so it was kind of like an off start to begin with. Then we decided to play our originals again. And the thing about our originals is it's like a 20-minute continuous song. Yeah, we put them into a mashup. It's like a giant mashup. And uh, we started playing them, and it starts off a little... A little sketchy. We didn't really want to play it. We'd already played it once, but, you know, we it was requested. Yeah. So we, we decided, it. okay, we could play it. You did? No. No, no it was... Oh, oh. One of the cameramen might have requested Ooh. it. One of the so, uh, it's, it's, in the room You're right the reason now. this happened. So, <laughs> <laughs> we're playing our originals. We get about halfway through, and... Space section. Uh, goes, we get to a space section, and, and somebody decides to play a different song than we were supposed to. Or, and, and then uh, take... This is where the Flying Cats insta- comes in, by the way. And then... Then and, an uh, instrument is removed. We all no. We and all we all kind of oh. one step at a time. Okay, one step at a time. She, one of us, not naming names, one of <laughs> us starts playing a different song. So we all join in, trying to save this, trying to make it better, and we don't know where we're going from this point on. No idea. We're completely lost. So we try to finish the song as it is. Things get a little jumbled up. We're out of order. Everybody's playing a different song at one point, and then one of us stops. And then another one stops. And then, then the other two swear, and, and then we're like, like oh, wait, we way, have to stop. So then one person drops out, another person drops out, and then two final people decide to stop. Yep. That was us. Nice. Names are called. People and are held hostage. Mm, I, I, I ran Swears away. I, I, I was quitting the band. Offensive terms were used. Definitely. I had my I, high I, voice on, so you could tell I was very mad. Yeah. And, I ran away. Uh, one of us decided that he was going to, they were going to threaten to jump off a building. And he, that person ran away. Yeah. Uh, some of us, well, okay. Some of us on. cussed other people out. Yeah, but. We were mad, no, okay? I, I was pissed So, too. what we decided to do to make it better was we can't Take end on, on that. Tra- yeah, oh, yeah, we're, oh, yeah, we're about we had to that. stop and just we, pack up and go we home. We can't end on that note. It's a bad note to begin with. So we decided to play one more song, which was Freebird. And some of us still had tempers and, uh, and some of took us it out was, on their instruments. Yeah. Yeah. Two of us did. Yeah. And, uh, and we were just um, like we got a little swearing hostile. at each other the we whole, through the whole song. Like We made uh, really angry faces definitely. at each other. Yeah, we did. And uh, then we finished playing, and then everybody had a mental breakdown. I, I get, yeah, I guess that's when I ran away. Zach and ran then, away. Uh, I started yelling, yelling at everybody yelling, in my yeah. really mad I, I yelled place. too, uh, I guess. Um, Tommy was trying to be the mediator, but it wasn't doing anything for anybody. We were all pretty hostile. And uh, so me yeah. and Zach decided to take a train ride together to make ourselves feel better. Yeah, and then... Though I thought it worked, but then I came back and like everything was still there, and I go, oh, wait, it didn't work. It seemed like a very then, bad dream at the time. Yeah. Oh, we all get fed up with each other, but I think that's what makes us great. Because we all love each other so much that we hate fighting, but we can't do anything but fight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, this is why we call him mom because we're three children over here playing mom. Um, and what what do they do? They fight. They bicker nonstop mm-hmm. over and over again. That's totally what we do all the time. Mom's sitting there like. No, it's fine. Everybody get along. But then we just hate him even more. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know, we're a family. Yeah, we're definitely a family. We have uh, family issues. All very the time. very dysfunctional family. It is true. We have our secrets. We They're have not our, great kids, um, if I'm honest. Oh. I'm oh. But we're just a product of our environment. Yeah. Mom. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Because well, we have no dad, so. Yeah, well, dad dad's dead. To be the sad man. I'd say we've learned more from our bad situations than we have our good as like developing with people and how to deal with these situations and how to confront people because we've learned how to socially interact with each other so well to the point where it's like beginning of this year I only knew Zach. Yeah, I it, only talked to Zach. He was the only one. I, and I wasn't even that close with Zach. Like, we mm. jammed a couple times, but I wouldn't tell him my deepest, dark, yeah. deepest darkest secrets. But now, but now I, I know everything. hung out all the time, I've a, been able to develop, like, a relationship with these people to the point where it's like, I could tell them anything and I don't feel ashamed or judged or anything like that. And it's like, I think it is the negative aspects of us, like us fighting all the time. That's kind of what brings us together in that same way. Because after we have a huge fight like this, 
it only gets better, and we end up having the greatest yeah. time after. That same night, we went to Islands, and yeah, it was we a did pretty have fun. great time. We no, all we got a waiter. It was terrible. Yeah, that was oh, but that was... Yeah, it sucked. I'm trying to help us out here, but it was horrible. Yeah, he's lying. He's so lying I'm lying on my ass. Well, well, the 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 service was bad, but we yeah. had, we had shared some laughs at least. Yeah, and, we laughed until we tried we talking laughed, about what we happened. We cried, we joked, we teared up, and I think it's the social interactions did. that we've learned so much like, from. Musically, yeah, we've learned a lot. Yeah. We've all progressed to a certain extent, but I feel like it's the relationships that we've made that have actually helped us a lot more. All right, this song. It was written by our manager on New Year's Eve. It all flew it right out of it in one day. And it was the most beautiful words I'd ever heard. So I was walking down the beach, and I saw your pretty face. And I knew you had to be mine. Give him your yeah. pitch. This has been the one man that has held us together the entire yeah. time, keeping us on track, <laughs> getting us sponsorships, getting us paid. Uh, well, his tattoos. Not really. Well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I paid one time, right? We got a sponsorship from Hats of Style. We did get, yeah, to, we did get to wear free hats for the night. Which yeah, you got to be, they got to wear them, had to turn them eventually, but I got them for him. It's still a sponsorship. It was, it was just one big manager move. <laughs> oh. To uh, bring in our synth player too, I think that's back synth really player. Here's our backup Finning. synth as well. Yeah, they do. Wow. Oh. Oh, that's my spot. Oh. This is oh, our majestic damn. synth player. Oh, you're right. And, uh, oh, wow. Uh, see, we're just <laughs> tickle fight, tickle fight. <laughs> all right, wait. Uh, where were we? <laughs> Cuddling. Arm <laughs> butter. We're all we're all great. Bro. Join the club, yeah. Avery. <laughs> I'd say this is probably the greatest part of our yeah. family. Right here. Our family. Here. The good times we have together. Our group. Yeah. So we all have a great oh. time. Yeah, we have we have good band adventures, which are pretty yeah. fun. Off-roading. The beach, off-roading. We go off-road, go off go a lot. Uh, getting hit on by older women. <laughs> <laughs> that that was only the three of us. That was fun. Watching um, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Without a paddle. Uh, <laughs> I was such there, a bad movie. <laughs> Hanging out on the New Year's. We have, I, I think it's the, the good snow. times are oh, way out of the bad snow times. Was good. No matter how many fights we get in, there are so many great days. Yeah. Like, like, Batman. 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 Tattoo Tuesdays. Pop popsicles. Pop popsicles. We have a good time. That's what makes it all work. Yeah. yeah. We have decided that our band is the epitome of the show Rugrats. Um, our band manager, Avery Isaac. Tommy Pickles. Right here. He is uh, Tommy Pickles. He's the adventurer of the group. He's always on track. And he's always prepared. Mm -hmm. right Tommy, Tommy over there, he's uh, Chucky Finster. <laughs> he's afraid to do everything until we get him out of his shell, and then he's the biggest adventurer of us all. Let's be honest. That's true. Zach and Ariel are filling the to a T. The hair sells everything. <laughs> It's just spot on. They're always bickering, but at the same time, they love each other so much. <laughs> like, there's no denying it. It's official. And then Reptar. And me, on here. the other hand, I'm I'm Reptar. <laughs> I break a bunch of <laughs> and I get in trouble for it. So yeah, yeah. you know what? I can't really hurt myself. Um, oh. Susie Su Carmichael Su Susie right Carmichael. here is our synth player. This is Susie Carmichael. She's the responsible one. She's always there for us whenever we need help with anything. She's right. the listener. And the venter of the group. Well, the person we've been to. Yeah. Is that Venti? Venti. Venti, Venti. 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 Venti.
Am I Wait, supposed yeah. to vent to you? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah, I do all the time. I've definitely done it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Come on, we've true. all done it. Maybe I have. Everybody does it. Everyone, yeah. everyone has a pop-up. We, yeah. we are the epitome of the show, Rugrats. Mm. And we're proud. Who, but what about Angelica? Angelica's <laughs> Yeah. It's true. Oh, cross. <laughs> oh, we're not crossing one. No, we're not. Oh, Put it out. Put it out. Take a bite. Take a bite. You <laughs> <laughs> scared me. <laughs> Okay, I, I feel good now. We're happy. Yeah. I'm happy. I I'm still not sure if we solved anything or just made things worse. It's I, insane, yeah. I hope we made things I, worse, because that's usually how things go. So. It is. I'm happy now. I don't know, Susie, how do we do? I'm just listening. Are you happy? Yeah, true. Okay. Are we all happy? That's all that matters. Do we all love each yeah. other? Do we need a group hug right now? Yeah. Do we all bring it in for group one Group tickle fight. We're, we're, we're almost there. Oh, um, someone just has to... Thank you.